Well, uh, the one and only Harlem Globetrotters can perform stunts on hardwood that you wouldn't even think were possible. I tried and I ended up in traction. Uh, the team is back in Heritage Bank Center next week on the 30th. And here ahead of the game is Globetrotter and Ohio native Julian Zeus McClurkin. He's making a repeat uh, uh, appearance here on Local 12. Good to see you again. Good Thanks. to see you again. Thanks for having me. Uh, the, the COVID. Uh, Caught up the Harlem Globetrotters just like it did everybody else. So, oh, yeah. So uh, this year, uh, you're able to, to play again in front of the audiences. You must be feeling pretty great about that. So excited. So excited. I mean, we haven't seen you guys for over a year. Uh, right. Everybody got furloughed last year in March. Um, and, you know, we all picked up some different things. But we've been itching to get back on the court with you all. So this year is our 2022, you get it early, uh, spread game world tour. And, uh, you know, you're going to see some high flying slam dunks, um, you know, half court trick shots and our crowd participation. That's unrivaled in sports. Uh, and uh, anything new that you, you're going to introduce? I would say that, uh, you know, we just kind of implement the crowd participation a lot more this year. We're really implementing that whole spread game um, uh, moniker, uh, not just on the court, but also off the court. Like later on today, we're going to speak to some kids at a high, local high school here, uh, going to, you know, get them excited, not just about the game, but also talk to them about uh, mental health, which is huge in our community. Oh. Right now. Very, very much so. Mm -hmm. uh, and over the history of the, of the Harlem Globetrotters, they have always been much more than just a, 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 an athletic team. Yes, sir. I mean, we've been around for over 95 years. Right. And uh, one reason for that, I believe, is the way that we make people feel. Like, if you look out there on the court right now, you know, you'll see people from nine years old to 90. Everybody has a huge smile on their face and they're enjoying themselves. And I think that's what people need right now, John, is just a, a time to forget about what's going on outside in this world, come in this arena, have a good time with us at Heritage Bank Center. Yeah, we talk about maybe some new things the, the Globetrotters are doing, but let's not fool ourselves. People come to uh, uh, the Heritage Bank Center. They come to wherever you're playing uh, because they want to see that Globetrotter magic. I know the first time I interviewed a Globetrotter was in 1980. I <laughs> can't remember who it is, <laughs> uh, but I had hair then, and it was exciting, and it was just a wonderful, entertaining uh, uh, thing for me uh, to, to be with them, and it's entertaining and magical for people to be with you now. What, what, why do you think that... The, that uh, if, the Globetrotters and what you do yeah. has just been held on to the public's uh, imagination like this for so many years. I think it's because people never forget the way that you make them feel, right? right. So, so we've been around for 95 years and we can go anywhere. If I go overseas to Turkey right now and I ask anybody if they've ever heard of the Cleveland Cavaliers, maybe they'll say ah, yes or no. But if you ask them about the Harlem Globetrotters, oh. immediately <laughs> it takes them back to a time when they went to the game with their parents and they saw a metal like mm -hmm. lemon, curly meal. Right. Um, and, you know, they remember how that made them feel. And that's what, what we've been able to capture. Yeah. Uh, let's talk about you a little bit. Uh, in, in terms of, of tenure, you've been there a number of years now. 11 years. Uh, you are an absolute uh, uh, a, a paragon of somebody who loved basketball more than basketball loved you at first. Oh, yeah. Uh, and, and you are basketball persistence. Tell people about your backstory. So I didn't make my first basketball team until the 11th grade. I got cut from 6th grade all the way to 10th grade. Then the summer of 10th grade, a miracle happened. I drank a lot of milk and I ended up growing 5 <laughs> inches. So I, I was finally tall enough to play, but a lot of my coaches and teammates said I was too nice and I smiled too much. I had a guy tell me, John, he said, all you ever do is smile and dunk. And now I get paid to smile and dunk. So there you go. it worked out for me. It did. As a matter of fact, you got uh, Guinness World records yes sir yep i'm a five-time guinness world record holder now that's amazing yes sir you gotta give me one. Oh yeah uh, get, get, get one of those records so one of my favorite ones is the most blindfolded slam dunks in one minute yeah about oh. two years ago i broke it and i got five in one minute then an ex teammate of mine broke it and he got six well just two weeks ago I recaptured the record, and now I have eight blindfolded slam dunks in one minute. And you, and you got bragging rights. Yes, sir. <laughs> there, we, there we go. Uh, let's tell the people again uh, when they can uh, when they can see the Globetrotters. Yep. All you got to do is go to HarlemGlobetrotters.com. You can grab tickets for the game. We're going to be at Heritage Bank Center playing at 2 o'clock and at 7 o'clock on the 30th of this month. You know you want to go. Go get your tickets now. Zeus is going to be there. All his friends are going to be there. They're going to do the stuff that you love. They're going to make you feel good. Let's see that. That's worth the price of admission right there. All John, right. John told me that. I did. I did. I told him that. I told him that 40 years ago. He, he wasn't even born. I told him. I told, taught his mother. His mother told him. Anyway, uh, Zeus, thank you so much for coming in. <laughs>